It is really hot. <laughs> That's why I asked you about Woo! the sun. You sure you want to do it in the sun? Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll, uh, it'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Ready? And we are back between two yetis with Nicholas from Arkham. How nice to meet you, thank you, very oh, well. We are day four, Miami Boat Show on the RMK booth and the Arcup booth, right? Exactly, yeah. So, uh, tell us a little bit about what you guys do. So what we're doing is a kind of ne next generation of uh, floating homes and houseboats. Right, so okay. It's uh, actually a recreational vessel, but it has the both of uh, waterfront properties and yachts. So we try to make uh, an environment which is completely safe, okay. very spacious and which at the same time gives you some freedom to move okay. and uh, enjoy basically life on the water without uh, harming the environment. So our product is really uh, designed and engineered so, so it's uh, self-sustaining and the, the greenest as possible. So, so it's, it's so essentially, a, like I said, a houseboat, but a high-end houseboat? Yeah, high-end with lots of innovation. So the, the most important things in terms of innovation is the fact that it's completely solar electric, mm -hmm. including the propulsion. And wow, it's also okay. equipped with hydraulic spuds, which are the anchors. So you can completely stabilize the boat when it's at anchor. So okay. there's no, no motion sickness, nobody complains about being seasick or anything. And you said it has limited mobility, so you can take it different places? Or? So it's uh, designed for partially protected water and has uh, electric propulsion. So you can uh, navigate within a range of 40 nautical miles. Okay. And uh, you have to stay around like uh, up to 20, feet, 20 nautical miles from the, from the coast, basically. Interesting. I mean, that's, has anyone done this before or is this kind of a uh, new concept? No, this is a brand new concept. Uh, so we take the, let's say, the um, uh, old or traditional concept of floating homes and houseboats, which exists in the US or northern country of Europe, and adapt it to a, with a like, brand new perspective where you have much more freedom, you're, you're free to move and navigate, and you're also... So you've actually machined like a hull into it rather than just floats for a house. So you, you have the so the foundation is a is a hull made of steel like a barge. Yep. Uh, and then when you're at anchor, you have the possibility to remain in the water and float on those anch on those spies on those anchors, or you can lift it completely out of the water and then be completely stable and protected from waves and everything. Uh, have you got any of these out in the market yet, or are you still in the? So the first one is currently under construction mm -hmm. at the Murray Stevens Yard in Miami. Oh wow! Okay. Should be ready by the end of June. So uh, next July we'll be ready to show it on the market and uh, have people on it exper experiencing the, the life on water and the lifestyle. Excellent, excellent. And what kind of square footage are we talking about? Is it like a two-story house? Or yeah, so it's, a, so it's a two-story house inside the hull below deck. It's only uh, storage and, uh, and technical compartments for that design. But and underwater lights? Underwater <laughs> lights. There's the possibility to create some, uh, some living space in the hull as well, but otherwise it's two floor. Uh, 2,600 square feet under air and wow. a total of 4,400 square feet. So there's a huge retractable deck that slides underneath the living room. When you're at anchor, you have a huge integrated indoor outdoor space. Yep. Depending on the kind of usage and configuration that you want to have, you can use uh, the solar roof uh, as a lounging area as well. So you remove part of the solar panels and you can have up to 2,400 square feet of solar roof, of, of uh, lounging area on the roof. Absolutely. So it's quite flexible. You can, you can really adapt it and customize it according to your needs. And, that's very cool. How's the reception been at the boat show? Have people been excited to see it? I mean, yeah, very good. So we, we started int introducing the concept and talking about the concept since uh, last November, since mm -hmm. Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. And the reception's been very, very good, actually. People uh, really see it as a, a new product, different concept, mm -hmm. uh, housing alternative for people who want to be uh, on the water, literally, or want to live by the water but don't want to be threatened or worried by floods or these kind of things, yeah, and yeah, want yeah. to have that freedom of being able to move. So we're quite positive. We think there's a, there's a potential market uh, in the US, definitely, the Caribbean as well, mm -hmm. and probably uh, some other locations around Europe or the Middle East. So, so how did you get into this? Did you design this concept? I mean, yeah. And what's your so, background? So, we're two co-founders. Uh, both of us are engineers. Okay. Um, my business partner is actually the one who's more into the technological design. 
and uh, has a background in construction and renewable energies. Right, okay, and that always helps. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, <laughs> that's exactly. And we wanted really to develop a, a new product, something that would be like a breakthrough for the market. Um, we are both very uh, enthusiastic and passionate about life on water and uh, water activities and the marine life. So we were really concerned about uh, developing something that would have the uh, minimum impact on the environment yep. and where people could bond as most as, the, the most as possible uh, with the nature and the ocean and the marine life. So you, you live here now then, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been living for about two years in Miami. Mm -hmm. I came for that specific concept and project and my business partner has been here for a bit more. So where are you originally from? From France. From France. What do you think about America and Miami? Is it from where you live back there? I mean, I'm from the middle of England. This is like paradise to me. Okay, yeah, <laughs> no, that's a very nice place. Um, I've, I've lived like 20 years in South America and Central oh, wow, America okay. before. So uh, I've, always, uh, I've already been uh, used to a mix of Latin, European and, culture, and South yeah, American yeah. culture. So, so Miami, I think, is a great place. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a place like it's really a hub, literally a hub and cosmopolitan city. So you have people coming from everywhere and uh, the, the climate, you couldn't dream of anything better. Anything the, better than this. It's uh, open to the ocean, the bay. So if, for people who like to do water activities mm -hmm. and stuff, I, plenty I think of it's space paradise. To dock a boat. <laughs> paradise are pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you in Fort Lauderdale. Man. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Final question. Arc up. Is that to do with like you're making an arc? Or yeah, so the, the, when we were looking for a name, we wanted a name that would be easy to remember and that would have uh, some, some meaning, some signification. So we thought uh, of Noah's Ark and Ark is yeah, kind yeah. of synonym for boats. And then the up re, uh, refers to those hydraulic spots which uh, help, which uh, allow you to elevate the structure above yeah. the sea level. So we thought it would be a, an interesting uh, name that would match what we're trying to do. Absolutely, I just wanted the arc thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, the yeah, arc. Exactly, exactly. Very cool. And again, idea. thank you, my man. Thanks a lot. See you. Thanks a lot. My pleasure.